Hey Floss Tube, it's Kenny. Thanks for coming back to my channel, Kenny Stitches. This is my channel all about cross stitch. If this is your first time here, thanks for coming to check out my channel. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Um, I know it's been a minute since I last put out a video, but um, with work and just things in general in life, a um, little bit delayed, but I'm back on track and I'm gonna start posting my videos more regularly. Um, in this video, I'm cutting it close, but I'm gonna talk about my mania plans at the end. But first, I'm gonna start with my whips. Um, my first whip is the Woodland Santa from Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I started him a couple weeks ago. Um, he stitched on Kelpie Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics. He was a market release and I couldn't wait to start him. So as soon as I got home, I did. Um, he was a little delayed because I, while I was at market, I got a model stitch from Tracy at Ink Circles. So I only have two whips to show because I knocked that model out and sent it back to Tracy. So that should be coming soon. Uh, my next whip is Mermaid Undine from Mirabilia. And this is my progress on her. She is stitched on Moana, 32 count Opal Belfast from Fabrics by Stephanie. And you'll see my first piece of haul that I'll get into next. I got my Love to Stitch needle minder from embroidery.com today. Um, there was a challenge in February and if you stitched 30 minutes every day, you got a free needle minder. So that was my first piece of haul that I'll show. My next haul, um, I saw on Instagram someone, I can't remember who, but she stitched these cute pumpkins with these birds from Halloween. And I found out they were part of a just, or better homes and gardens keepsakes calendar. Um, so I put a search out there and a friend of mine on Facebook, she said she had the calendar and she dismantled it and she sent me the pattern. Um, it's called Playful Pumpkins. I just thought it was so cute and I had to get it. So um, maybe for Halloween, I'll make sure these are started. Uh, I got, this is called Ocean Breeze from Seraphim Fabrics. It's an Opal Lugana. It's a really light minty kind of green color. Then my fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics for February, I think, March. Um, this is Calliope. But I don't know how to pronounce it, but Calliope, it's a, this is a 28 count Jobelin. Really soft and pretty in person. And then today in the mail I got, with my Love to Stitch needle minder, um, I got Charlotte from Mirabilia and this is Rainbow Fairy from Joan Elliott. And then when I finished the models for Tracy, she sent me um, Ars Robotica, another mandala from her and Woodland Vines. I've wanted this pattern for a minute and I don't know what fabric I'll put it on or what threads I'll use, but I just thought it's super pretty and I had to have it. So I got this magazine solely for the sampler on the cover from Stash Unload. It's massive. It's like four, 440 something by 390 something. Huge. And it came in two magazines, but um, I don't know when I'll start this, but It'll definitely be on a higher, higher count of fabric, so. But I thought it was super intricate and pretty, so had to have it. Um, I jumped on the Baby It's Cold Outside train. Super cute. Then from Under the Sea Fabrics, I also got 
Lady Cat, one of the latest Nora Corbett's. She's super pretty. And when I first saw these two, I thought that she was going to be my favorite, but then I got this one, and Lady Skein is actually, I love her. And if I can somehow muster up all the threads with everybody being so low on threads, I'll add her to my mania pile for sure. Then another stash unload purchase. This is Touch of the Wilderness from Buttercup Designs. I love the fox. And the deer's cool too, but I think I have a couple wood fabrics that I think they'll look really good on. I got the Nutcracker, sorry for the glare, from Quaker Fantasies. And also, it has been a minute since I put out a video. Um, got the Mirabilia, the Duchess of Rowan, the companion to the baker's wife. I have the baker's wife started, and I had a limited edition fabric from Seraphim that um, I put her on, and then I talked to Lori. I said, I need another piece for the companion, She and she dyed it and sent it to me, so they'll both be on the same fabric and eventually be hanging on my walls together. Sorry. And my last piece of haul, well, yeah, my last piece of haul, I had this kit a long time ago and it got water damage when in a move or something. And um, a couple years ago, I bought another kit off of eBay and it turned out to be a Chinese knockoff. So I never started it, never started it. And then a couple weeks ago, I finally got a replacement actual dimensions kit of Ballerina Beauty. Uh, I think, I think she's gonna go into my mania starts. Um, I also just yesterday got a, another dimensions kit that I've wanted, um, the Buttons and Bears. It's not here yet, but if it comes, which it should, hopefully comes during the month of May, it'll also be in my mania pile. So that's another mania start. <clears throat> so for mania, I think I'm hovering right around 20 starts. I'm either right at 20 or right over 20, 21, 22. So, um, besides the Ballerina Beauty, my starts are going to be um, Tyler's Lion by Long Dog Samplers. Um, I picked out a DMC color, like 950 something, 960 something. It's a light mint green. And I'm going to do it on this, my first color in cottons fabric. This was also a piece of haul. Um, it's called Mood Ring. It's 46 count linen. Um, that That's probably a pretty true picture. It's a really pretty, not deep, but bold purple. Um, my next start, I've showed it before, but um, Carla Rolodex Stitches. Um, she had a whip of this, and I had to get it. The Friendship Sampler, Quaker Seasons of Friendship. And it's going to be stitched on 55 Count Looking Glass from Under the Sea Fabrics. And I'm going to use um, a dinky dye silk. It's called Dream Time. It's a really pretty bluish purple. This is Winter Geisha from Joan Elliott. And she is going to be stitched on. Um, this is, oh, there. Tallulah, 32 count linen from Seraphim Fabrics. It's a really light pink with splotches of yellow and lavender in it. Um, this is Hippity Hoppity from Shannon Christine Designs. And it's going to be stitched on Avalon Opal Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics. Okay. 
With Thy Needle 2 from Lila Studio. I have all the call for overdies. Um, and it's going to be stitched on 40 count Opal Autumn from Under the Sea Fabrics. I only have a black and white printout, but um, the Shannon Christine Fairy Houses collection. And it's going to be stitched on a market piece from last year from Picture This Plus. It's um, D. Dimisel, um, Belfast. Really pretty light blue with splotches of pink and yellow. This is the Unicorn Tapestry from the Tiny Modernist. I've seen people stitching it on the dark turquoise color, but I'm gonna go a little different and I'm gonna use this deep dark purple. Um, that's, that's good, that's accurate. It's Hamlet Belfast from Under the Sea Fabrics. Another Autumn Lane Stitchery. This is the Curious Mermaid. She's only five colors and the gold is PTB, Petite Treasure Braid. The gold accents around her waist and her tail. And this is a, I don't know if it's a mist eye, but the fabric, the tag, it's from Fiberlicious. It's a Lugana. It didn't have a name on it, so I'm assuming it's a one-off or a missed eye or something, but really pretty green. Uh, I'm going to start. My friend Leah, she started and I think finished Buttercup in just like five, seven days or something like that. But she's been in my stash for forever. Um, she's going to be stitched on this really pretty um, sugar maple fabrics. It's a 28 count even weave. I'm not sure of the name, but it's really soft pink and purple, really light. Um, Enchantress of the Abyss from Bella Filipina. And I'm going to stitch it on, um, it's called Gina Belfast from Fabrics by Stephanie. And they're not here yet, but I'm also planning to start um, Princess Eliana, the newest Mirabilia, and Gaia, the Earth Goddess from Bella Filipina Designs. And I'm going to start them both on um, Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics, her new Fabric of the Month Stone Wash, a really pretty light blue. So those are also going into the Mania pile. Um, my little Geisha dolls from Tiny Modernist. And it's going to, they're going to be stitched on Nantucket Sky really pretty sky bluish color from Fabrics by Stephanie. This is a 28, 32 count Jovelin. I got these at market, um, the plaid hiding house by Little Stitch Girl. The, this gray house, I love this gray house. I love them all, but the gray house is my favorite. I'm gonna stitch all three of them just in a row like a village. And they're going to be stitched on this piece of Jobelin from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's called Incoming Storm. It's a light blue with some grays modeled in. Um, that's probably pretty accurate right there. Strutton from Teresa Kogut another market piece. And I'm gonna stitch this on Rose Marta Jobelin from Under the Sea Fabrics. Uh, 
the folk art sampler from Tiny Modernist. She's cute. I love these little rabbits. Um, I don't think this will take long to finish, but I can't wait to start this one. And this is on a, I don't know if they even still die. I got it in a stash sale. It's called, it's from Kiwi Illusions. It's an even weave, but I thought she'd look really pretty on that. And that's a pretty accurate just color, so. Then my last start will be Literary Alice from Bendy Stitches. Super cute. And I'm going to start it on, it's called Regency from Pole Stitches. It's a, it's a Jobelin, I believe. So those are all my mania starts. I will, as soon as everything started and toward the end of May, I will post a wrap up video and show all my starts and the progress I made on them. Um, I think I'll probably save Eliana and maybe the unicorn tapestry toward the end because I won't want to quit working on them. So um, they'll probably get the most attention and probably be saved toward the end of the month. So um, after I get everything started, I'll be back with another video. Um, again, thank you guys for coming to check out my video. I'm sorry it's been so long and I promise the next one won't be as far out. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.